Hey guys, Strategis418 and checking in and I wanted to make a quick video talking about fanboyism and why I think it's like really irritating and really dumb and I th I just think it takes away from a lot of what video games can be for, pe for, for people who are easily influenced by that. I'm somebody that pretty much plays everything, I've always played everything, I've never really understood people I mean you know there's a such thing as having a preference and having a you know um, love for a particular platform my well prior to you know gaming on PC and PC gaming for me my preferred platform was the PlayStation but it wasn't so much for PlayStation's exclusives it was more with the fact that they came out with games that uh you know weren't necessarily available on um like it wasn't necessarily going to come out for xbox so it's not necessarily because they were exclusives but i liked playing games like you know niche games and you know games that weren't really um you know they just xbox wasn't didn't have our Nintendo didn't have and PlayStation had a lot of those games I mean like I said I wasn't necessarily looking at those games like oh my god these are exclusives and that's the reason why I like them which is why I can't understand fanboys you know because fanboys literally like games because they're exclusive they don't like games because they're good they like them because they're exclusive you know and I always liked PlayStation because they always brought the uh, variety and stuff like that in terms of their game library like um, you know although that's not the case nowadays but you know back in the day you know they had games like Jack and Crash and uh, Final Fantasy and uh, Metal Gear Solid and Disgaea I go on and on you know what I'm saying um, Jade Cocoon and all that other stuff you know I, I have all that stuff on my emulator and for some reason, my controller keeps on desyncing. So, you know, enjoy me getting pummeled by this dude. Because, oh, he got killed. Okay. I don't know. Hold on. Let me turn off vibration, actually. Because for some strange reason on PC, uh, the vibration on the Xbox Series X controller, it keeps on desyncing. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, um, yeah. I always enjoyed PlayStation because they had a variety of games that the other platforms never really had. I mean, this uh, not including PC because PC just has 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 everything, but um, has and you know anybody can get on PC and make something. So I, mean, I ain't gonna, gonna include PC, but for console gaming, um, Sony, well, PlayStation always kind of had all of the different types of games on it so you had stuff like you know strategy rpgs action rpgs jrpgs you know what i'm saying um platformers and rhythm games and all this other stuff and i don't know it seems like with fanboys now when it comes to just talking about playstation right now it just kind of seems like they don't really talk about that and I feel like PlayStation has lost its way in a lot of ways when it's come to um, you know playing games on on the console that's just my opinion on that but um, I don't understand fanboyism I really don't understand it I've never understood it I've never understood people um, I mean yes like I said there's a preference for what those particular platforms provide but I've never understood just blatant fanboyism and ignoring or just hating on a game because of the fact that it's not on your platform or it's not exclusive to your platform or whatever I mean like I never understood that I've always looked at different systems and what they had to offer you know I've always looked at different systems of what they had to offer. And I've never understood the whole, oh, I'm going to be loyal to this brand 
because I'm just loyal. That's it. Like, I just, I'm just loyal. You know, there's no real, you know, exploration of the other platforms, trying out the other platforms. They're just loyal just to be loyal. And it just kind of, it just bothers me because as a gamer, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to think that way. I mean, I feel like I just want to explore and try out everything. That's how I am personally. If you see some stuttering, I don't know why it's stuttering, but, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just like, I don't understand the whole, that whole, you know, mindset of if it's not on my platform, I hate it. Or I, you know, I just blatantly hate what is not my platform you know what i'm saying like people just hate pc just because it's a pc and it, it makes them feel like their purchase is in is um not valuable so to speak that's why a lot of people hate pc because the con it threatens console gamers it makes console gamers feel like you know they purchased a paperweight and stuff you know and people hate playstation because I don't know why they just hate PlayStation or they just hate Nintendo or they just hate Xbox now I'm not saying there's not reasons to hate these plot um, to dislike these platforms I be personally uh, again over the last two years I've been playing on PC and I have literally no interest in playing on consoles anymore I feel like if I was so good to go back to consoles it would be like a downgrade I mean I'm just just that's just my opinion the only thing I really like about consoles is that you have the option of physical and digital uh, media. I, I'm totally fine with digital, but I, there's certain games where I do like to collect. I am a collector. I do like to collect stuff. So for gaming, so you know what I mean. Like I do like having that uh, option of having physical media. And PC actually does have physical media. It does have physical media, but it's not for every game. You know what I'm saying? Every game doesn't have it. There's certain games that will, but you know, you know, the game that you might want probably ain't gonna have it. Uh, but you know, there is physical PC games. You know, there is physical PC games. They still do come out with them. But like I said, it's not like every game like on console which i like you know uh that's about the only thing but everything else when it comes to pc pc is just pretty much better in every other way um but yeah in in any event you know tell me what you guys think why do people you know what i'm saying just outright hate another platform just because you know, it's a company or it's a brand that that's not familiar to them or whatever. They never, you know, they never really try it out or they never really um, explore the other platforms to see what they have to offer. For me, like I said, I always do that. Okay. Um, like, I've been playing a lot of Xbox games. I've been, I played some of the Halo Master Chief Collection. I played some of the Uncharted. I mean, Uncharted. <laughs> some of uh, Gears. Um, this is unscripted, so, you know. Uh, I, you know, you know how that's that is. Um, I don't like scripting videos unless I'm doing a review. But I, I played some of Gears Five and Gears Four, and Gears Four I have over two hundred and sixty hours on Gears Four's multiplayer. Absolutely love Gears Four's multiplayer. Same with Gears Five. I have about, um, I think I have like a hundred. I have, I have over a hundred hours on Gears Five multiplayer. You know what I'm saying? So. I love the Gears of War series. Huge fan. I'm a huge fan of the Gears series. And I, I can't understand how people who hate... They'll hate Gears of War, but they'll like Uncharted. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's PlayStation. It's so weird to me. I mean... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. They'll hate Gears of War, but like The Order 1886. Like, what kind of shit is that? I mean, I don't know. It's just fanboyism to me, you know? Like, they'll hate... Dark Souls because it's not it's a multi plat, but they'll like Bloodborne. Like what? You know, it's it's just weird. Just very strange to me. Fanboyism is a very strange thing because I mean as a gamer I, I cannot understand it. I mean again, you have a preference that's fine. Everybody has a preference towards something in life. 
that's perfectly fine, but just hating something because it's not familiar to you as a brand and you have this kind of weird brand loyalty, I don't know, man. And I, it could just be because I am a PC gamer now that I don't understand brand loyalty and all that other stupid bullshit. Which, these companies don't give a sh flying shit about you. Uh, you know, that could just be me. But, you know, like playing Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, playing some of the PlayStation and Xbox stuff on the PC. Um, even like Octopath, I haven't played that much at Octopath yet, so I can't say much on that. But even just just having all these games on PC that are, were, are, are, well, I guess were exclusive to the consoles. The fact that those are not exclusive anymore and I'm playing on PC, it's like the same thing, but way better. It's it's way better quality. It plays better. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, like, you, you know, being being loyal to a plastic box just is like, damn, it's just stupid for me. I, I'm just stupid, like, because you know, having all these games in one place now with the with the PC, it just made me made me think, like, damn, why are people, you know, uh loyal to these boxes when the experiences they provide you can just you can play something on another platform that you prefer for its systems that it has and it's 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 uh features and shit like that and get the experience you want you know so i don't really understand the fanboyism thing i really don't i never understood it i will never understand it so yeah man tell me what you guys think in the comments like subscribe all that nice shit and yeah, hit me up. Um, uh, I'm gonna start to try to do more live streams. I don't know. I, I have to. My subscribers have to come up a little bit because I, I don't want to do a live stream and no one comes and stuff. So you know, but I I like making videos like this and just discussing what is on my mind. That's basically what YouTube is. It's just my digital uh, venting platform for what I think. Well, at least in terms of gaming. I ain't gonna really put no personal shit out there on YouTube, but yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoy that, and please comment and tell me what you guys think. I like to have discussions, so peace out.